and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lux Marauders. That's right, we are going to be combining Legion Marauders with Lux. Because with Legion Marauders, we're going to be playing Strength in Numbers. That's going to be an 8 cost spell that will uh, level up our Lux and create a Final Spark. And these Final Sparks are going to be really important um, because, you know, Final Sparks can get rid of blockers for our Marauders. But what we're going to be doing in here with Noxus and Final Sparks is we're going to be playing Mimic. Because if we have, uh, with Mimic, pick a spell in play or in hand and create a fleeting copy of it, that's going to be with the Final Sparks. So right, whenever we make a Final Spark, we're going to try to Mimic, copy Final Spark, and be able to have uh, multiple Final Sparks. That could be really cool. If we have two Mimics in hand, and we don't have Reputation, if we have that six mana, if we can make a Final Spark and then still have uh, you know, the ability to go um, Mimic, Final Spark, Mimic, Final Spark, and then that would create another Final Spark because that'd be six mana again for Lux. That That's obviously like something that's, you know, that'd be like, we'd have to have 12 mana. We'd probably have to play Remembrance for the first Final Spark. I don't know. That's that's going to be tough to do. I guess the first Final Spark, we could have like Concerted Strike on one turn and Lux just be five out of six. And then we play like a Ranger's Resolve and now it's six out of six. And then just, you know, Mimic, Mimic. I don't know, that could be cool. But anyway, back to our deck. It's going to be a deck that does care about uh, the whole reputation thing, though, because we're going to have LeBlanc, um, hopefully big Legion Marauders. We'll have Thorn of the Rose. We got Swiftwing Lancer. Cool 5-drop here. You know, it's going to be the 5-4, so it will be able to help turn on reputation. It'll be able to create a random elite for us also with the last breath. Underrated card. Um, everybody playing Screeching Dragon these days. We got Glory Seeker, too. Uh, Demacia gives us, you know, Sharp Sight to help protect Legion Marauder, but then also Ranger's Resolves. These are going to be in here to protect our Marauders, because if we got, like, one Marauder in, and then we strengthen numbers and get more Marauders, you know, and we, because we're going to be want to be attacking with a whole bunch of Marauders, and so if we're attacking with things that are going wide, Ranger's Resolve is a great card to play during combat. Conservator can also create some cool Last Breath spells for us. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a fun deck. This is, this looks like a fun meme tier deck with Lux and Marauders. So let's go uh, play our five games in ranked. Here we go. I definitely said ranked. I meant to say normal. Hopefully y'all heard normal. <laughs> All right, we got Hecarim. Because it's meme tier day, so we just play our decks in normal. No, they did, they did change it, so you can't mimic mimic anymore. Which is unfortunate because that would have been a cool way to get a lot of uh to just you know use a lot of mana to get final sparks okay we got glory seeker so you can tell what our goal is going to be turn one or turn three legion marauder turn five strength in numbers Can't block that. Let's have some fun. No, that that was in like the, one of the patch note How updates here recently. Is that they changed it where um, you can't, mimic can't target mimic anymore. They killed our Ezreal mimic combo deck that we had that one time. That was really cool. All right, I kind of want to just get rid of this thing before it makes more buffed up ephemerals. So Quark says they changed it. They change it that it can't mimic itself, not another copy of it that you have. How would it even? How would it even target itself? That doesn't. Even, so I don't understand. I don't understand. How would you even have a mimic target itself? down to 11. Okay, there was a bug that allowed you to do that. Okay. So maybe it's not as nerfed as I thought. It's Legion time. Come on, boys. 
All right, Legion Marauders. Always have some strength in numbers. Hmm. I expect this deck to put up a little bit more resistance than the previous one. Let's. Uh, we're definitely keeping Conservator, and we're keeping Cooling Strike. Like those two are definites. These two, I don't know about. Just one health things against Ezreal decks. I mean, I'm kind of keeping this because, you know, it's going to die and make a big, super cool spell. But maybe that's not even worth it. Maybe I should just mulligan that card, too. Because it's not like they attack with, like, little things. All right, so I'm uh, saving the spell mana for Calling Strike. Confine and contain. Never mind. I blocked this spider. This is perfect. Perfect. Nice quake. Not a good hit. Yeah, turn three Radiant Guardian. Let's go. That may be the first time I've ever used the, the Lux emote. So I'll start with LeBlanc, so if they, you know, use a Mystic Shot or whatever, they kill the LeBlanc and not the Legion Marauder. Legion Marauder cooler. My move. Be seeing So I think I'm just going to open attack right now so we for sure get the plus one plus ones on the Marauders because there's a big, you know, two and three is a big difference. Then I'll probably just play Lux post-combat. Let's make this a night to remember. Could pass an Ice Quake, I guess. Yeah, I should probably play this. The sun is shining. We should too. We're just at a very awkward spot with the seven mana that we're gonna have next turn. All right, well I can prismatic barrier and whispered words, and that would level up Lux. Give me a final spark. Do you have some strength in numbers? Thermo, thermo, thermo. Ugh. I don't like that. It does gets damage in on the Lux. I just, I just don't want to turn on Guillotine Scorcher at those cards so easily. No, I wouldn't. I would. I would play the. I would. Uh, the question is, would I change anything with the Talia's Misfortune deck? And I, I don't think so. I liked the list that we had. We have some real strength in numbers. I think that they were trying to set up like this turn, like guillotine this turn. Deployed. You will be scoured from this land. Crows will have what's left. Man, I I really should just attack with the locks. Yeah. Okay, so if I 
And they have Guile to stun. If, you know, I could final spark the 2-2, two -two, but they have Guile to stun. So this likely means my Lux is going to die, but I think that's that's worth it. Sorry, Lux. But this is our deck, Lux Marauders. Yep, that'll do. We 2-0. We have Elise Nessus. We have some good decks today. Yeah, we are just on a roll. Okay. They are going to be... Am I keeping Glory Seeker? I mean, it's good against Elise. They're going to be going wide with all their Shadow Isle stuff. This can be a tough matchup for us. I could see this matchup not working out as well as our previous two. Yes, best possible hit. Out from the darkness. Squished. Squished. Okay. Marauder or LeBlanc? I guess LeBlanc. I hate having to put my face on. And <laughs> you do these decks on Wednesday and call it Winning Wednesday. <laughs> All I do is win, win, win on Wednesday. Right Speaking of Wednesday, this week... Um, I forgot, I've, I haven't told you all this, but this week... Um, I have stuff to do Wednesday nights. We're going to be doing Wednesday normal stream time instead of Wednesday night stream. So Wednesday for this week is going to be normal normal time. That's a quick pass. How are they passing so fast? Like, they obviously have units to play. They're like an Elise deck. What do they want from me? Like, what's the trap here? Because they're, they're a mana short of Ruination. Is it the box, maybe? Let's have some fun. I guess we'll play the Marauder. I don't know what the trap's going to be. It was Frenzied Skitter? That was the trap? It's not much of a trap. It doesn't seem like much payoff. I'll just take it. I know I could Shard Sight block, but... Eh. Them down. Please, I have connections. All right, so I know I'm, I'm not saving the Marauder. feel bad about that. I am everyone. Man, is it just ruination? They just keep passing. They just... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just to copy the ruination.
What's up, Screeching Dragon? I think we'll be fine. I think we got enough cards. I think we'll be fine. Even though I got ruinationed. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Let the light guide you. Nine nine Nasus. Oh, five plus power. I can't target that. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Remembers. So if I go give it all, they are all 6-5 Fury, Challenger, Quick Attack. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get two lasers with a mirror image. <laughs> that would have been cool. We gotta wait till Lux levels first. But yeah, so if I go give it all, then we would get the laser. Man, it's it's meme tier day. Let's have some fun. We protect these woods. This is not the best play. I'm gonna tell you that. This is not the safest play. I guess that's what I should say. This is not the safest play. Does barrier count as a keyword? Cause I can give these all scout. Like that's cool. Like atrocity isn't killing us yet. Oh, they had another one of those. No. So I was gonna. I was, at least they. At least they waited till before. At least they did that before I played give it all. Cause I was gonna give it all and give all of these scout as well. Okay. Well. You got me. Whoa, this thing's a. That thing's something I can get. Mirror images. It's down to just one cost because the second one made it one cost. Okay, so I do get to capture my own thing with this. Because if I single combat with the ephemeral, the ephemeral just dies and the ephemeral doesn't get to strike. Once, once an ephemeral strikes, it dies. And so you, single combat doesn't work very well with an ephemeral. Betrayal buried, Shirima. Hope revived it. If we are to survive, we must fight. Yeah, I wonder if they were expecting the old... Swiftwing Lancer make Captain Erika play. Pro probably not. Nope, looks like they were not. Okay, that'll do. Another rose for the garden. Another rose. Okay, we got some Zoe with Freljord. Freljord has tons of protection. They got lots of buff. I'm expecting like Starlet Seer and buff. And all that kind of stuff. So let's definitely keep these sharp sights. Sharp sights a good anti Zoe card. Our meme tier decks are played in normal, so like like that will help out our win rate for sure. We have puppy who's there who's laying in the bed, but through the blanket like out of the bed. And then we have Harvey over here who's just <laughs> using her bed as a pillow. She has her one pillow, but it's like now nah, just using that other bed too. <laughs> as a pillow. Alright, I'm passing. Who goes there? I need just 
And there's Starlet's here. Anyone hurt? <laughs> we just need to play Marauder to attack with Marauder, but I am expecting like brittle steel on five one. Ours is the one true light. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good blocker for Marauder. Still probably man, yeah, that's a good card. Um, not wasn't expecting that. Still probably worth attacking. And then I Rangers Resolve. Plenty for all of us. No mercy for heretics. Okay, no nothing there. Good. Good trades. I have a few other cards I wasn't really expecting. I won't stop now. Just playing the Glory Seeker to keep Sharp Sight mana available. They gotta make something big and overwhelm me. This turn would level up LeBlanc. Like, if these all strike, it will level up LeBlanc and also give us reputation. Reputation enabled or unlocked. Could be the six mana obliterate. I play Lux here, they obliterate Lux. Sunlight guided, my brethren. The sun is shining. That would be sad. But we would kind of kill them. Should be less sad. Oh, yeah, because this does two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal two to anything. Oh, no, no, but then I don't have my two mana for sharp sight. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why do I think I had three mana? Alright, well, that's fine. That's a cool animation for that card. Not even looking for the zero mana blocker. All right, so two. Yeah, we'll still just go like this. My move. Plenty for all of us. Maybe that card's hush. You're gonna hush the Marauder and stay try to stay alive like that. No. Well, that's not. I mean, this is still ten damage here, and you're at ten. So, long live LeBlanc. All right, we 4 no. As we always do here on Meme Tier Mondays, uh, if we are 4-0 and in normal, then we go take our deck over to ranked to try to finish out the 5-0. So Lux Marauders is currently 4-0. and So that means we're going on over to ranked for the final test. Masters rank for our Marauder deck, and the, the most popular deck probably right now, some Thresh Nasus. This is going to be tough. This is a you know, much tougher test than what it was just having. Let's mulligan those two. I was going to keep Strength in Numbers, but then on second thought, decide to mulligan. I'm keeping Glory Seeker because I really don't know why. Maybe shouldn't. Desert by my side. Azir's command! It's not even attacking with the Sand Soldier. That means that they have Ravenous Butcher or Rite of Calling. Most likely Ravenous Butcher. Rite of Calling. Just like I said. 
Most likely ride a calling. <laughs> yeah. Sign up. Yeah, we've had a, a good meme tier day today for sure. I can only spend three mana this turn. I need just a moment. If I want to play the strength of numbers next turn. Oh, so if they go Thresh, we go Culling Strike. If they play other stuff, we'll, we'll go Strength of Numbers. So it's two hits towards reputation at least. And yeah, you know, it's taking some cards from their from their deck. I don't know what's going on with like this whole connection thing. What is going on here? All right, let's go. Time to get my hands dirty. But they're saplings. We're still even. We're still like even on cards with them. Used a couple of caretakers to take down those five ones. And now, hit for twice for five. Reputation enabled. Uh, we'll just go Concerted Strike on this thing. But how about that? Mage look at look at how well we built our deck. Mage Seeker Conservator gets Reckoning. That's just good deck building right there. They Vile Feast. No, you can't Shadow Flare Nasus. Shadow Flare is... For, there's a reason people don't play this card. It's only followers. You can't kill champions like Nasus for Shadow Flare. First me, then the Turns that into a 10-5. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking it. It's just what I'm blocking it with. I'm not sure... And I think it's it's probably too important to keep these final sparks. Oh, they have black spear. No, that's vile feast. Okay. That's what. Yeah, that's that's what I thought was that they had vile feast, and I really didn't want um, really didn't want Lux to die. All right, so am I able to just keep having one mimic copy the other mimic? Can I do that? Can mimic target mimic, and I can just do that six times and make a final spark. Cordex says yes. Nasher says no. Mervin says no. Yeah, we should, probably shouldn't risk it. But So yeah, Cortex says the patch was about the bug of like you could mimic and target your own mimic in hand or something. It should I don't know, that should work. But is that even my best play? Because I can do it six times, level up locks. Withdrawing the strength of numbers, that's maybe not even my best play. Um, but if they go Okay. There we go. Yeah, so I, th I think that was probably just my best play was just to go with that. Make the two final sparks. Unfortunately, my opponent conceded. Because I was going to use both mimics afterwards and just copy the two final sparks. And we we're going to have triple final spark with triple Marauder and Lux. And that's our deck. It's Lux Marauders. 
Five O. Let's let's write that down. Write that down. All right, there we go. Five O Lux Marauders. That's pretty awesome. Uh, got some really good wins there. We even took it on over to ranked and got a win in Masters rank with uh, Lux and Legion Marauders. So pretty cool deck here. Pretty cool deck. Yeah, everything worked out well. Um, we were we were able to like you know play Legion Marauders and attack with them a good amount. People didn't really stop us. Um, the Swiftwing Lancer was really cool. Like we got a, uh, you know, we got the Captain Erika with the Swiftwing Lancer once. That one was awesome. Um, Remembrance was just really good though. Like Remembrance multiple times. We got uh, some good hits and we were able to play cheap Remembrance. Like remember when they played the, uh, I guess we had like on turn three, we got to have our Mage Seer Conservator die and then for five mana play Remembrance and we hit uh, Radiant Guardian. That was awesome. Then another time they played Ruination and we were able to have two mana Remembrance, and we also had a one mana Mimic that copied the two mana Remembrance. We got to play a couple of uh, big attackers right after. Everything just kind of, everything worked out. Yeah. Everything worked out. Comparing it to Ash Marauders, I think Ash Marauders is going to probably be a, Ash Marauders is going to be a more um, consistent deck. Like, the interaction that they have is awesome with having Elixir of Iron and Troll Chant and everything like that. Um, but we do have and brittle steel, but we do have sharp sight, and we this one's going to be a more powerful top end deck than that one with having the final sparks from Lux. This is a, a pretty powerful top end deck, and you have your whisper words to draw and everything. Like final spark is is really powerful. It is. It, it's a it's a great card, and so having mimics to copy that. Cool, pretty cool deck here. All right, so there we go. So that's some Lux Marauders though. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. If you try it out yourself, if you've been wanting to play some Marauders um, and some Strength in Numbers, but not with Freljord, uh, give this one a try. We even like, you know, like we did a really good job with Reputation, with um, you know getting that. Like that was fairly easy, and leveling up LeBlanc was fairly fairly easy in our deck. Yeah, just a pretty cool, pretty cool little deck here. And the Mage Seer Conservators were great, right? Like we made. Some cool spells, you know, even even though we didn't play them, but like the Reckoning would have been a very good one. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Lux Marauders. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.